it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. So today I have part two of my April book outlet haul. So stay tuned. Okay, so you may have already seen part one of my book outlet haul that I posted last week. And I did the first two boxes out of the four boxes. So today I'm doing the last two boxes. So here I go with box number three out of four. <laughs> Woohoo! Got another $5 coupon! Yay! Love those things. And my receipt. Okay. I know which one this is. And we got the paper! The paper! The paper! And the first book that's in here is actually not for me. It's for Xander. And that is The Extraordinary Truth About Space. And it says taking space to the next dimension. So there's like 3D glasses, I guess. Yep. And some 3D pictures in here. And this is way smaller. Like it's so small that I thought it was going to be like a much bigger book and thicker. But yeah, I mean, it looks cool. And there's the 3D glasses, but it's a really tiny, it's like 20 pages. <laughs> That's it. And I don't know how much this originally was in the U.S. anyway, but it says it was 2.99 pounds. But I paid $1.59. So... I don't know if this was actually much of a discount because, I mean, I don't know how much 2.99 pounds is, but maybe it is. I don't know. But gosh, it's so tiny. But Xander likes all the space kind of stuff, so I thought he'd really enjoy this. And the next book in here is also not for me. Okay, most of these books in here are for me, but this one's not. This one is actually for Becca, and it is Adulting, How to Become a Grown-Up in 468 Easy-ish Steps by Kelly Williams Brown. And it says, adult isn't a noun, it's a verb. Just because you don't feel like adult doesn't mean you can't act like one. And it all begins with this funny, wise, and useful book. Based on Kelly Williams Brown's popular blog, Adulting, makes the scary, confusing, real-world approachable, manageable, and even conquerable. This guy will help you to navigate the stormy sea of adulthood so you may find a safe harbor in not running out of toilet paper bay. Along the way, you will learn what to check when renting a new apartment, not just the nearby bars, but the faucets and stove, among other things. When a busy person can find time to learn more about the world, it involves the intersection of NPR and hair straightening. How to avoid hooking up with anyone in your office? Imagine your coworkers having plastic featureless doll crotches. It helps. And it sounded really, really cute. And definitely something Becca could use. <laughs> Step 248. Don't throw everything in the dryer. It's really cool. Who knows? I could probably use some advice on adulting. <laughs> Okay, so the next three books in my box are a trilogy. So we have Pure by Juliana Baggett. Fuse, which is book two. And then Burn, which is book three. And unfortunately, I had to get two paperbacks and a hardback, but I got the whole set and I'm happy about that because I read this, gosh, years ago and absolutely loved, 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 loved this trilogy. I read it from the library, I believe. And when I saw it on Book Outlet, I was like, that looks really familiar. And I read the synopsis and I was like, that's that book! I was trying to think of this book. And I loved, loved, love, love this story. Okay, I don't want to spoil anything for this book, but in this world you have the Pures who live in this dome, this protected dome, and most of the world's population has been either killed or fused to things when they set off detonations to just wipe out, I guess, 
the undesirables or whatever. And those that survived, they became fused to whatever was around them. And Pressa, one of our main characters, she she's like fused to like doll parts or something like that, I remember. And oh my gosh, this book was so good. And Patridge is actually a boy inside the dome and his mother is dead and there's suspicious circumstances to that and he's not okay with what's going on inside the dome and he ends up going out into press's broken world and there's pretty much a war going on uh, or building up the fused versus the pures and Oh my gosh, if you haven't read this series, read it. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I read through all of them so, so fast before. Really good read. Okay, so the next book in my box is Famous Last Words by Jennifer Salvato Doktorsky. And this is about a girl named Samantha D'Angelo who thought she got this great summer internship at a newspaper and she would spend the whole summer writing like a real professional newspaper reporter and instead she's fetching coffee and writing obituaries and it is not quite the summer that she expected but it could be one of the best. And it just sounds like a super cute, light, contemporary. It says, her job is all about endings, but her own story is just beginning. And it just sounds really cute. It's a short book, too. Only 276 pages, so I think this will be a really quick read, actually. And fun, too. So the next book in my box is Dream On by Kirsten Geyer. And this is the second book in the Silver Trilogy, and I don't really know what happened, but I thought I had all three books in my cart, so I, I don't know what happened. But this book is about a girl named Liz who, she's having these crazy dreams, and one of them, she's in this graveyard and watching these four boys conduct dark magic rituals. The thing... The strange thing is, she actually recognizes the boys in her dream. They're her new classmates from her new school in London, where she's just moved to. But the thing that's really scary in Liv is the fact that these boys that she's just met seem to know real things about her from this dream. And, well... Liv likes a good mystery, so she's wanting to investigate and figure out what's going on. Because the only way they can know what they know is if they're actually somehow in her dreams for real. And it sounded really cool. Okay, the next book is another book that was not for me. It's for Xander. And that is Secret Coders Get With the Program by Jean Luen Yang and Mike Holmes. And this is just a fun little graphic novel about these kid coders. So the next book in my box is The Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia. And it says, meet your next book boyfriend right here. And I just recently, well, a couple of months ago, read her newest book, Broken Beautiful Hearts. And loved it so much that I wanted to get more. I already had all like her whole Beautiful Creatures series and loved that as well. So when I got one that was very different from that fantasy genre and enjoyed it thoroughly, I wanted to get another one of her books and I, I found this on Book Outlet. And it says 17 year old Frankie Devereaux would do anything to forget the past. Haunted by the memory of her boyfriend's death, she lives her life by one dangerous rule. Nothing matters. So Frankie isn't phased when she's forced to move in with her dad, an undercover cop, and transfer to public school. That's where she meets Marco Leon, a street racer with a reputation for trouble. 
Tough, sexy, and hypnotic, he makes it impossible for Frankie to ignore him and the way he makes her feel. But when Frankie discovers Marco's secret, she has to make a choice. Can she let go of the past and take a chance on her future? And Colleen Hoover said, Everything I hope for in a book, suspense, drama, romance, and heart. And Jennifer L. Armentrout said, A perfect blend of electrifying romance, pulse-pounding street racing, and page-turning suspense. And if it's anything like her newest book, I'm going to love this one too. Sorry if there was an angle change. My battery died. So, okay. The last book in this box is another book by Cami Garcia. And that is Unbreakable. And it is book one of the Legion series. And the blurbs on the back here. Okay, so this says protect yourself. There's some big names on here. We've got Tense and Deliciously Twisty from Ransom Riggs, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. A Romance to Die For, Rachel Kane, the Morganville Vampire Series. Supernatural meets Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Nancy Holder from Buffy the Making of a Slayer. A fast-paced race through a world of demons and spirits, Ali Condi, the Match Trilogy. Definitely on my must-read list, Rachel Mead, Vampire Academy. Eerily fun, looking forward to book two, Jason Hawes and Grant Wilson from Ghost Hunters. So, there's a lot of good stuff for this. And it's just black with some gold font. Okay, this says, from Cami Garcia, best-selling co-author of the Beautiful Creatures novels. I never believed in ghosts until one tried to kill me. When Kennedy Waters finds her mother dead, she doesn't realize that paranormal forces are responsible. Not until mysterious identical twins, Jared and Lucas Lockhart, break into her room and destroy a deadly spirit sent to kill her. Kennedy learns that her mother's death was no accident, and now she has to take her place in the Legion of the Black Dove, a secret society of ghost hunters formed to protect the world from a vengeful demon, a society whose five members were all murdered on the same night, leaving the Legion in the hands of the next generation, a misfit group with unique skills. As the new members race to find the only weapon capable of destroying the demon, they use their individual talents to battle paranormal entities and learn their rightful place in the Legion, except for Kennedy. If she is truly the missing piece of the puzzle, can she stay alive long enough to find out without losing her heart in the process? Protect yourself. What you can't see can hurt you. Oh my gosh, I didn't know this. So, Cami lives in Maryland with her family and her dogs, Spike and Oz, named after characters from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Okay, Cami, I'm even more of a fan now than I already was. As some of y'all know, Xander, my son was also named after a Buffy character. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so let me just tell you about this box before I go on to the next box. So this book was $2.19. The Lovely Reckless was $3.79. Secret Coders was $4.29. Dream On was $3.19. Famous Last Words was $1.19. Burn was $3.79. Fuse was $4.29. Pure was $3.19. Adulting, How to Become a Grown-Up in 468 Easy-ish Steps, was $7.49. And The Extraordinary Truth About Space was $1.59. So the subtotal for all 10 of these books was exactly to the cent $35. And I had a $20 rewards, so I got these for $15. So essentially, a dollar fifty each. Okay. Now on to the last box. Okay. Got my receipt here. Okay. So the first book in this box is Percy Jackson and the Olympians: The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. Or Riordan. And I don't think I really need to go into what this is about because I think everybody knows. But I've actually never read it. So I have a whole lot of 
the other books in this series and the other series and I'm trying to kind of accumulate them all at once so I can eventually read them and also so Xander can read them because I think he would also really enjoy them. So the next book in one of our book outlet boxes, I think it was February's box, there was a book called, it was an extra book and it was like The Yeti Files and it was book one and Xander loved it so much he wanted me to get more and at the time I ordered this the only other one that was available was book three so I got that and it's The Yeti Files Attack of the Kra Kraken by Kevin Sherry and after ordering it they now have book two but I'm trying to wait on placing another order because <laughs> as you see I've ordered a lot but this is book three and it's like Bigfoot and I guess other like mythical things in here and it's just a cute little like I don't know graphic novel or <laughs> in this one the underwater city of Atlantis is in serious trouble <laughs> okay the next book in my box is Violent Ends a novel in 17 points of view and this is by 17 authors I do believe so all of them. Sean David Hutchinson, Neil and Brendan Schusterman, Steve Brezenoff, Kendar Blake, Trish Dollar, Delia, Delilah S. Dawson, E. M. Cokie, Tom Levine, Christine Johnson, Margie Gelbwasser, Blythe Woolston, Cynthia Lech Smith, Mindy Scott, Courtney Summers, Hannah Moskowitz, Beth Revis, Eliza Nader. I think I got all of them. Oh, I could have looked inside and it told me the list of them. <laughs> but this is about a school shooting and it seemed very relevant. It says it took only 22 minutes for Kirby Matheson to exit his car, march into, onto school grounds, enter the gymnasium and open fire, killing six and injuring five others. But this isn't a story about the shooting itself. This isn't about recounting that one unforgettable day. This is about Kirby and how one boy who had friends, enjoyed reading, played saxophone in the band, and had never been in trouble before, became a monster capable of entering his school with a loaded gun and firing on his classmates. Each chapter is told from a different viewpoint giving insight into who Kirby was and who he'd become. Some are sweet, some are dark, some are seemingly unrelated, about fights or first kisses or late night parties. This is a book of perspectives with one character and one event drawing them all together from the minds of some of YA's most recognizable names. And then it lists all of them. And it just, oof. anything dealing with this subject just kind of, scares the crap out of me because I have kids in school and just the thought of it makes me want to cry. <laughs> okay, let's move on to something else. <laughs> How about Love and Gelato? So you may have seen this actually show up in a book haul I did in March maybe, where I, maybe it was February, where I had actually gotten this from Books A Million, but the cover was messed up and I was able to get it cheaper on Book Outlet, so I did that. And this is about a girl named Maya who her mother's dying wish was for her to go to Tuscany and spend some time with her father and get to know him. And while she's there, he gives her a journal of her mother's and she starts learning things about her mom she didn't know and learning things about herself along the way too. And it just sounded really cute and sweet and probably emotional. And I'm probably going to cry. I, I'm guessing I'll probably cry. Okay, the next two books. I don't know if this is a duology or a part of a series, but I'm thinking it's a duology. We have Get Well Soon and Have a Nice Day by Julie Halpern. And are these just not too cute? So this is about a girl named... Anna Bloom and she's 
depressed and she's so depressed that her parents decide to have her committed to a mental hospital and this is about her experience there and then in this one it's after she's been released and she has to go back to normal life and go back to school where the teachers and students know where she's been and you know what happened and having to deal with that. Okay so the next two books I have here I actually got because of Rocky from Blonde in a Book. She talks about these all the time and I know when I tell her about this video and she watches it she's gonna be like oh my gosh because she gets so excited anytime people say that they have bought this book because of her but I totally did because she's like I follow her on Twitter and Instagram and she's constantly talking about these books on there I don't know I guess you show me something enough times and hype it up enough I'm going to eventually get it but it does sound really really cute and I'm really interested in reading it and that is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro and The Last of August by Brittany Cavallaro and these are like a Sherlock Holmes retelling kind of thing where it's actually Sherlock and Watson's like great 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 grandchildren or something like that and they end up in a st they're in like a private school together or something and there are mysteries that need to be solved and well guess who does it and it just sounded really really cute and yeah I'm looking forward to reading them now oh this one's got like a little imprint of Charlotte Holmes it's got a little imprint of her with a little magnifying glass and this one looks like it's got a little imprint of Jamie Watson and that's just cute okay the next book in my box is Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendar Blake and hello there's a blurb on the front by Cassandra Clare it says spellbinding and romantic and I love Cassandra Clare so if she likes it I'm sure I'm gonna like it <laughs> Okay, this says, just your average boy meets girl, girl kills people, story. <laughs> Kaz Lowood has inherited an unusual vocation. He kills the dead. So did his father before him, until his gruesome murder by a ghost he sought to kill. Now armed with his father's mysterious and deadly atham, Cass travels the country with his kitchen witch mother and their spirit-sniffing cat. Together they follow legends and local lore, trying to keep up with the murderous dead, keeping pesky things like the future and friends at bay. When they arrive in a new town in search of a ghost the locals call Anna Dressed in Blood, Cass doesn't expect anything outside of the ordinary track hunt kill. What he finds instead is a girl entangled in curses and rage, a ghost like he's never faced before. She still wears the dress she wore on the day of her brutal murder in 1958. Once white, but now stained red and dripping blood. Since her death, Anna has killed any and every person who has dared to step into the deserted Victorian she used to call home. And she, for whatever reason, spares his life. It's the old boy meets girl story if the boy is a wry self-destructive ghost hunter bent on avenging his father and the girl is a homicidal ghost trapped in a house full of everyone she's ever murdered. Needless to say, Cass and Anna are my new favorite twosome. When I got the, to the last page, I flipped back to the first and that was Holly Black. And this very much sounds like the first episode of Supernatural. Doesn't it sound like that to you? And this is printed in like a like a dark brownish red uh, you probably wouldn't be able to see that in the from the camera but it took me a second to realize that it wasn't black but it's like a dark red and then the last book in this box is spindle fire a kingdom burns a princess sleeps this is no fairy tale and that's by alexa hillier and if you hadn't figured out this is a Sleeping Beauty retelling. 
and y'all know how I feel about retellings. <laughs> and it says, it all started with the burning of the spindles. No, it all started with a curse. Half-sisters Isabel and Aurora are polar opposites. Isabel is the king's headstrong, illegitimate daughter whose sight was tithed by fairies. Aurora, beautiful and sheltered, was tithed her sense of touch and her voice on the same day. Despite their differences, the sisters have always been extremely close. And then everything changes with a single drop of Aurora's blood and a sleep so deep it cannot be broken. As the fairy queen and her army of vultures prepare to march, Isabel must race to find a prince who can awaken her sister with the kiss of true love and seal their two kingdoms in an alliance against the queen. Isabel crosses land and sea, unearthly thorny vines rise up the palace walls, and whispers of revolt travel in the ashes on the wind. The kingdom falls to ruin under layers of snow. Meanwhile, Aurora wakes up in a strange and enchanted world where a mysterious hunter may be the secret to her escape or the reason for her to stay. Spindle Fire is a lush fantasy set in the dwindling, deliciously corrupt world of the Fae and featuring two truly unforgettable heroines. And I just love retelling so much. They just make me so happy. Ooh, so this is a pretty dark gray, and we've got this, like, crown and leaf, like, twig kind of things there. It's so pretty. And get gold font. All right, and let's see. This was $6.79. This was $3.64, $5.43, $6.36, $1.19, $2.71, $3.22, $1.86, $3.64, and $3.64. So my subtotal for all of these was $38.48. And I had another $20 in rewards, so I paid $18.48 for all 10 of these books. So, about $1.90 a piece. Not bad. So, let's see if I can pick these up. So, if you figure in the rewards, I spent less than 40 bucks on all these books. <laughs> Whew. That was quite the haul. Because I think there was just as many books in the first one. Yeah. <laughs> so, have you read any of these books? How are they good? Are they not? Comment below and let me know. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, bye!